welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a foundation review and wear test on this foundation here. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint, always on Radiant Skin Tint. I lost the box. I don't know where I put it. It was around here five minutes ago. It's gone, but this is what the bottle looks like and I'm really excited to try this. So in all my foundation videos, if you haven't seen one yet, you're going to be seeing me apply the foundation to my face. We'll be doing a four hour check-in in natural daylight. I'll be inserting in some swatches. I have the shade light four, so I'll be comparing that shade to just some other foundations that I have in my collection. And then we'll be going into the eight hour check-in sometimes a little bit longer, where I'll be giving just final thoughts. We'll look at the foundation up close. It is currently what I have on my face. So if all that sounds good, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe, and stick around. We do a lot of foundation review videos on my channel. I love doing foundation reviews. It's my favorite part of just the makeup process. So that's all I have to say. With all that, let's jump into the application portion of this video. Okay, I have you zoomed in. Let's get started applying this foundation. I do have all my skincare on. I have sunscreen, no primer, because I just like to, when I'm testing a foundation for the first time, try it with no primer and just see how it wears. And then I can make adjustments the next time if I need to perhaps go in with a pore filling primer. So here is the skin tint. It says to shake it up and then apply it with a beauty blender. We're just gonna use a sponge and it does come in like a dropper. I have the shade light four. Yeah, light four. I don't know if this is gonna match me. We're gonna hope for the best. Just gonna put it on the back of my hand here. It is fairly runny. I think the shade will be okay. I think it'll be all right. And we're just gonna go in. So this is $29 and it comes in a standard one fluid ounce. I don't think that it's too expensive. I'm not gonna say it's drugstore prices. However, I think that the price point's decent. And then it does come in 20 shades. So with a skin tint, normally you can get away with a little bit less shades. I know Beauty Blender's been in some hot water before for their shade range. I can only speak for me. I think that the shade for me is pretty decent for light four. For deeper skin tones, I don't know how deep this goes. Need to watch reviews for darker skin tones. So far, I'm really liking how this looks. However, I don't have my glasses on. It's supposed to give a light to medium coverage with a natural radiant finish, which is exactly what I like, which is why I wanted to test this out. I've been hearing pretty good things about this if I hear them. Like I don't see a lot of videos. However, the videos I have seen, they speak highly of this, which is why I wanted to grab it. So here's what we're looking like. It does claim to have hyaluronic acid, which is to plump the skin and then niacinamide to smooth out skin and then blur your pores a little bit. I don't know if I would say I feel like my pores are blurred or they're reduced in appearance. However, I wouldn't say that they're exaggerated. So, mm. I do like this though. I'm not gonna test the buildable part because I like the coverage so far. This was really quick to apply. I've, I've only been filming less than five minutes and half of that I'll probably edit out. And this is already applied. So just the application was super quick and easy. I love that. If this works out and wears well, it's just a great quick on the go foundation. This is lovely. All right. I am gonna go off of camera. I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup, take a closer look, put my glasses on. That always helps a little bit. And then I will be back to just talk about first impressions. All right, rest of my makeup is on. Everything that I'm wearing is always listed in the description box below if you're ever curious. And 
going back to this foundation, I have really high hopes. I really like this. I have no other words to say other than that. Just everything applied so smoothly on top. I kept it pretty light just because it was a skin tint. So my eye makeup's not anything extraordinary, just very simple, put bronzer in the crease, highlight kind of spotlight on the lid. And my skin just looks so good. I think that my pores do look blurred. It's as good as it's gonna get. Do I wish it was better? Yes, but just with my skin, unless there was like cosmetic, it's not, this is how it is. And I have to accept that. They look really good. They don't look enhanced. They do look minimized. And my skin just looks naturally radiant, which is exactly the finish that they claim it's going to be. So I'm just really, really loving this. I love the coverage. It gives coverage without being just so sheer that it's like, why even put something on? I think my skin looks beautiful. The only thing I'm somewhat hesitant about right now is going to be the wear test because it is a little bit more radiant and I'm just wondering if it's going to get too radiant by the end of the night. We will see. I always do a four hour check in in natural daylight and then an eight hour check in at the end of the night with final thoughts. So that's really the only thing that's holding me back right now is wondering just how this is going to wear. It doesn't look as radiant in the viewfinder. However, in person, for me, it's that perfect amount of radiance where if it gets any more dewy, it's going to be too much for me. I'm going to feel a little bit too oily. So I'm hoping that it stays exactly like this. It wears down just perfectly. And this is going to be like my number one foundation if it can do all those things. So I'm going to leave it here. It is 1230. So I will see you all in about four hours. Hello everyone, welcome to the four hour check-in. I'm gonna try and make this kind of quick cause my dogs like to bark at the horses and they just came over to say hi. It's been a little bit more than four hours. It's been maybe five or so and this is what we're looking like. I'm in the shade, so let me kind of move into the sun. I just didn't want sun in my eyes. It's looking really, really good. The only thing is I'm just looking a little bit shiny, especially on my chin, less on my forehead, but definitely Simba, but definitely on my chin area here. So that's really my only complaint. It's still wearing perfectly. Like I, I don't see any coverage that's gone. I did go to the gym. I'm in my gym clothes. So I did test it out there. I can't say that I sweat too much at the gym. Like there's air conditioning. I'm not doing high intensity gym workouts. Sorry. I'll be cutting out the dog barking as much as I can, but some of it I have to keep. These are the horses. Uh, they like to tease the dogs. So that's what they're doing currently. And then there's my dog, Eris. And the rest of the dogs are my mom's. But this is where we're at. I'm gonna come back in like another four hours or so. My pores still look pretty good. That's really my biggest complaint. And yeah, I think I, I like this a lot. I think if I was just to touch it up with some powder, I don't normally do that during my foundation reviews just to kind of really see how the foundation wears. But I think if I was to powder this, I would really, really like it. So next up, I'm gonna be inserting in some swatches and I will see you all in my final thoughts. Hello everyone, we're back. It's been almost 10 hours. This is what the foundation is looking like. It actually looks less oily than I was thinking. I just got back from taking the dogs for a walk. It's not very hot outside though, so it's not like I was sweating, but I am gonna just blot a little bit. Yeah, I'm just, 
I look less shiny than I did at the four hour check-in, which is interesting. It's definitely like worn away on my cheeks here pretty naturally. Like I don't see up on my glasses, like I don't see foundation collecting right here. So let's just powder a little bit. I'm gonna powder with my Kosas powder, which is currently in my shop, my stash. It will not be once this video goes up. It's a little bit early. I'm filming a little bit early, but if you wanna see any of my shop, my stash videos, those will be linked right above. And let's just see what this looks like. Touched up a little. my glasses back on take a look here yeah I I really like this it doesn't even look like it's worn down this foundation is really really good I can't believe I waited so long to try it the way I just know that it's gonna be like a top foundation for me again is just like right here Normally I get like, you can see the foundation. I kind of have to wipe it away. I don't see any of that. This almost looks as good as it did when I put it on other than just like the complexion products have worn away. This looks really nice. I am really enjoying this. I mean, like I moved around today. I went to the gym. I took the dogs for a walk. I was outside a lot. I did put this to the test and for a skin tint, I think it wore just really, really nice. I really like the coverage. It's a little early to tell, but this quite possibly could be my favorite foundation of 2022. I like this that much. I did, by the way, find the box right where I left it. However, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna keep going on and on about this. I'm gonna continue to wear it and test it but I just love how my skin looks. I love how my skin feels. It doesn't feel sticky. I don't feel like I need to avoid my face because I'm wearing makeup. I mean, you can see like my eye makeup's definitely worn away here, but my base just looks so nice. I always talk about this because it's something that's just, if I was watching from home, I used to work retail, so I always just want to compare it to working a retail job or an office job. Like, would I wear this to my job? And yes, I would. This is absolutely like I'd wear this every single day. I just can't believe how good my skin looks. It's unbelievable. Even my pores still appear to be smaller than they normally are. This foundation is like magic. I really like this. I do have, I always put this in my description box and then I always forget to say it in the beginning of the application portion. However, I do have normal leaning dry skin. So I don't know how this would work with people with severely dry skin or oily skin. That's just my skin type. But I, again, again, I just, I, I love this. I, I can't believe it. I did just really quickly before I let you all go, wanted to compare this foundation to this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea water foundation. This has been discontinued. I believe that Tarte replaced this foundation with the Hydroflex foundation, the one that's like in that blue tube, but it very much reminded me of this foundation and I kind of just want to put them side by side. They both come in like this dropper style application and this is what they look like. So this is the Beauty Blender and then this is the Tarte. This one's a little bit more liquidy. You can see it running down further. You're disappointed that they discontinued this foundation. It's been discontinued for a while, but I know the people that loved it love this foundation and I was one of them. I would really consider testing it against this one. I think they're very similar dupes to each other. And I don't say that very often. Like I don't necessarily have products stand out to me where I'm like, oh, this is a dupe for this, but this instantly reminded me of this. And this is just one of my top foundations. I'm upset that they repackaged it, reformulated it into that Hydroflex. I haven't tried that one yet. It's on my list to do, but this one's just so good. And this one is even better than that one. It's just more flexible on the skin. 
This one, if you use too much, it's not buildable. You can kind of see it on the skin. Whereas this one just really just melts into your skin and looks like your skin, but better. Can't say enough good things about this. However, this is where I'm going to leave the video. So if you like foundation reviews, I will link an entire playlist up above so you can see all my foundation reviews. I do quite a few of them. Again, subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.